Hi, second grade. It's Mrs. Shook again with our grade two skills, unit one, lesson 21. We're going to be reviewing some letter sounds and spellings, tricky words, and a few other things before our assessment tomorrow. Our learning goals, spelling um, the tricky word should, as well as words that are dictated with the n ending that has either the ng or n spelling. Being able to read tricky words such as could, should, and would. Reviewing all of the spelling sounds um, that we have gone over so far. And being able to read a given text and answer questions about the story. Our letter sound review. Okay, all of our sounds. We have A for A, I spelled I, A spelled E, A spelled U, and Ah, spelled with an O. Those five sounds in green are our vowel sounds so far. Now we have the single and double R to make the R sound. The B sound is with a single V. And the H sound is with a single H. Then we have for the Z sound, most of the time it will be an S, sometimes a Z, and sometimes a double Z. For the W sound, it will usually be a W. For the Y sound, we have a Y. X is X, always X. Sh is usually SH. Qu is QU all the time. Ng, like at the end of sing, is oftentimes NG. Um, th is a TH. TH is also the spelling for th, like in them is usually ch, sometimes a tch, like an itch. Um, for f, we have a single f or a double f. D, we have a d or a double d. L, we have l and double l. B, we have b and double b. K, we have most of the time is a c, sometimes a k, or even a ck or a double c. G, excuse me, G, we have a G or a double G, M, M or double M, N, N or double N, P, P or double P, T, T or double T. We have a lot of spellings for this sound. Most of the time it's a single S, sometimes it's a C, sometimes a double S, sometimes a C, E, and sometimes an S, E. That's all for the S sound. Okay, our tricky words. Word number one, could. We could have more pie. The tricky part is the OU because we're used to that saying ow, but it has an uh sound. Our next word, would. Just like could, the OU has an uh sound. I would like two apples. And should. Once again, the OU is the tricky part, making the uh sound. You should always brush your teeth. Should. All right. Today we're going to be reading in our Cat Bandit Reader. Once again, this story is called The Chips. Our purpose for reading is to make a prediction about what will happen in the story and then read to find out what does happen. Okay, we'll see on our table of contents that chips is on page 34. Our story vocabulary. Plank is a long, thick board. Example, I use the plank to build my treehouse. And a gash is a long, often deep cut. She has a large gash on her leg from the broken drinking glass. Okay, let's read together. The chips. Once... Mom left a big bag of chips on the top shelf in the kitchen. The cat will not get them up here, she said. But it was not long until the cat bandit was up to his tricks. He got a log, a plank, and a big rock. Oh, goodness. He set the rock on the bench. He set the log on the rug next to the bench. He set the plank on top of the log. So if you look in the um, picture of the story, let me just move that. You have the log on the floor. There's the plank resting on the log. 
and the big rock is on the bench. You can see the cat is looking up at the big bag of chips. So maybe you can make a prediction now. What do you think he's going to do? We know he's up to his tricks. He's always trying to get the food. So what might this cat be doing? Okay. Then the cat bandit sat on one end of the plank. He slid the rock off the bench. The rock fell and landed on one end of the plank. Smack! So here's the plank. The cat was sitting on one end. He got the rock to fall and whoof, the other end flew and he was able to fly through the sky. Smack! The end of the plank where the rock fell went down fast. But the end of the plank the cat bandit was sitting on popped up and the cat bandit popped up with it. Whiz! The cat bandit went zipping up. The cat bandit did a flip and landed on the top of the shelf. Slash! The cat bandit cut a big gash in the bag. Then, crunch, crunch, crunch. That was the end of the chips. So his plan worked. He was able to fling himself, catapult himself on top of the fridge to get the chips. All right, here's our cat bandit chart of all the stories, the hot dog, the nugget, the snack mix, the ham, the fish, the milk, and today's the chips. So what he stole are some chips from the top shelf. He sat on one end of the plank, slid a rock to land on the plank, popped up, and landed on the shelf. Our sound words, smack, whiz, and slash. Okay, and our new spelling words for this week. Let's see. We have sand, hunt, and thin. They all have the n sound spelled with that single n. Sand, hunt, and thin. Next, we have sang, hung, and thing. They all have the ng sound with the ng. And we have sank, hunk, and think, all with the nk and k. All right, pink. The n in pink is a single n. So we're adding that to our ng page. And that's reflected in our spelling words for this week. All right. Now that the lesson is all over, practice your spelling words for this week, and you will complete Google Forms for Skills Unit 1, Lesson 21. Again, here are spelling words. Sand, sang, sank, hunt, hung, hunk, thin, thing, and think, with our tricky word, should. Great work today. See you guys tomorrow.